Hi, my name is Philippe Kahn and I created the camera phone. Our present project is Full Power Motion X where we build some of the most popular iPhone applications as well as the technology that's inside Nike's Plus GPS or the Jawbone Up Band. I came to the U.S. Uh, back uh, in the mid-80s and uh, I came on a tourist visa looking for work. I never thought I'd start a business. And my first job in the U.S. was to make printer cables at a computer store. And I was really good at it. And at the time, you had to make custom printer cables because there was no Wi-Fi and everything was connected with cables. And that got me my first start because I sold lots of printer cables and uh, people liked my printer cables. I was able to hire a couple of people and then start consulting uh, out of my true expertise, which was to be an engineer and a mathematician. And that got me started in Silicon Valley. I left France because um, I felt that technology was happening in Silicon Valley and that there were some fantastic things in France, but what we didn't have in France was kind of a hub of technology and innovation like uh, Silicon Valley is. Uh, as we discussed before, it was really by building printer cables. I mean, it, it, it's a strange thing, but at the time, every computer had to have a printer. Printers were different. There, was no, there were no really standards like USB, and every cable was different. And you couldn't get a custom cable uh, of the right length with you know, the, the, the right plugs on both sides. And therefore, I, I, I started a little business like that, and I started hiring people to help me make more and taught them how to make great printer cables. And that got me started in business and in Silicon Valley. As soon as uh, Steve Jobs, uh, Steve uh, shared his vision for the iPhone, we knew it was going to be a success because Steve got it. He, he basically realized that the iPhone was a camera phone with sensors and, 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 and it was going to be a great object, something that everybody wanted to have in their hand and use really to, to do most of what they do today, which is messaging, email, etc., and eventually you know, have a fantastic app store. The most surprising of the, about the iPhone success is the power of Steve's vision for the App Store. I think that uh, people talk about the iPhone, people talk about Android, people talk about other platforms, but really there is nothing like the App Store. And it, it, if you want applications, you really have no choice because the App Store has really high quality, tested, um, certified applications that that, are, that can be matched today on any other platform. And that's a huge advantage. And as you know, Apple is uh, celebrating 25 billion downloads. And we're very proud that the Motion X is in the top 25 of all time out of 25 billion, which is fantastic for us. But besides that, this is an incredible platform, an incredible ecosystem that, that, that Steve and Apple have, have created that is there is no match to it. You can get a different phone, but the applications are, are, are shadow of what they are on the iPhone. Well, because we had access to the iPhone, we're able to do a little bit of reverse engineering. We're, we're good engineers, and we're able to actually figure out how the sensing platform worked on the iPhone before Apple actually made it public. And of course, when they made it public, uh, we had a little head start, um, but we followed, of course, all the guidelines. Uh, uh, of Apple's APIs and, and, and we were able to, to create really great applications that are a terrific showcase for the Motion X technology. Well, I'm a technologist and I believe that you lead with technology innovation. You lead by building solutions that help Mr. and Mrs. Everyone in their daily lives and then the rest is a consequence of that. Um, it's a lot of the web 2.0 school of thought is more of a marketing approach kind of a, a positioning as opposed to core technology and that's something that I'm not a specialist of so I'll leave that to the specialist uh, for my part I've always focused on core technology innovation creating a broad port, uh, patent portfolio that, that that's what we're great at doing I believe that there are there are many futures. Uh, the future is having 
you know, your, your, your iPhone is your hand in your pocket and everywhere you go. And you may be able to interact with all sorts of different devices around you. But I think that if you look for a single feature, you're probably going to be wrong because there is no reason for one solution to prevail. Uh, what we know is that, you know, people like to interact with technologies in different ways. And sometimes it can be overwhelming. But what we know is that putting a smartphone in everybody's hand, which is the Apple iPhone vision, is one that is successful and that will continue to be successful. Well, there are a lot of anecdotes about the camera phone. Of course, when we created the camera phone and that first picture was fantastic, the picture of my daughter, Sophie, and that was fantastic. And at that point, we knew we had something special. But the, the fun anecdote for me, uh, having created the first camera phone and, and the vision for point, shoot, and share instantly, is when I, I walk by a landmark and I have people hand me their iPhone and ask me to take a picture of their family or their group together in front of that landmark. And I think it's kind of fantastic. It's just like, for me, that's the best anecdote of all times. And I'm always have a big smile when I do that because it's kind of cool because this is what it was meant to be. Well, with Motion X, we, we, we have so many anecdotes in the way that, you know, so many people are using Motion X in so many different ways. You know, we have, we have all these stories about people and, and maybe one of the, the most fantastic recent one is, is, is people's lives being, being saved by Motion X GPS, by, by people having an iPhone and being in distress, lost in the, in the depth of, 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 of the uh, rainforest jungle in, 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 in Hawaii and, and at, at the bottom of a ridge and, and being able to actually broadcast their position to the search and rescue teams in Hawaii uh, and that allowed them to, to, to actually you know, have their lives saved. I mean, we, we have so many of those, but it's really gratifying to see that our Motion X technology is used in so many ways by so many people to, to really make a difference every day. What, what's fascinating about, about Silicon Valley and that, that people should never forget is that Silicon Valley is made out of cycles. You know, you, the, the, the most fantastic anecdotes are always the people who get scared every four or five years and just leave Silicon Valley because suddenly, you know, Silicon Valley is, is going to vanish, disappear, is, you know, the, it, we're in a down cycle. And every time, every time, they come back and, and, and I think that's the best, the best anecdote in Silicon Valley is that Silicon Valley is basically the, the hub of innovation for technology in the world and will remain so for a long time. Yes, a lot of it is happening in China, some of it in Europe, but if there's one place where it all happens and it all comes together, it's Silicon Valley.